Hello everyone and welcome back. I am about to head to the plot. I have not been in 12 days. I'm nervous. I don't know what we're going to find. <laughs> if we're going to find anything at all. Um, yeah, let's go and see what it's looking like after 12 days. Oh, hello cat. <laughs> this is Frida. Oh. <laughs> She can hear a scary noise outside. Oh my gosh, you look so shocked. <laughs> oh, and these are my garlics. I never actually showed them or the garlic harvest. They were in my only rose bed in the back garden. And I can't remember what variety they were. They were from the Isle of Wight garlic farm. I think they were Rhapsody White and they produced amazing big heads with loads and loads of cloves in so i couldn't find this variety in the garlic farm when i went the other week but i think i'm just gonna plant one of these because this one is the biggest one i think it's really really chunky um so instead of buying more seed garlic i'm just gonna replant one of these i think i had 20 heads of garlic so i've got plenty here to last me a year and I can definitely use one of these bulbs for next year. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that before I head out. <laughs> Let's go to the plot. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Everything's looking okay in here. Look at those peppers. Wow. Carrots okay. Pumpkin. <laughs> As expected, they've been eaten. Oh, oh no, I thought we'd be... Oh, that one's okay, I think. Right, I'll try and pick whatever is intact. Leek's looking okay. I think the archway is um, even more flat. <laughs> Let's go around. Wow, those leeks have definitely grown. They're looking really good. Is that one okay? I think it is. Okay, giant courgette. Just one, no, two courgettes. Sorry if my phone was dangling in. Um, that's a massive, massive nasturtium. Those leeks are looking really good. Bindweed flowers on there. <gasps> Guys, I think they're okay. Okay, that one's not. <gasps> I think that one's okay. That looks promising. That looks promising because I can see one. Okay, well. <laughs> hmm. The footsu black is still there. I don't know about the orange. Oh, who's squeaking at me? Hello? Right, let's go around the other side. I think my neighbour's been here and he's strimmed or weeded the path. <laughs> Thank you, neighbour. Right, I still don't know what that is. Whether it's a cabbage or a Romanesco. I don't know. Um, okay. Oh, of course, the bees are still absolutely loving life on these. I think that one's alright, you know. Oh wow. Those dahlias are looking very nice and so is this one. Wow. That's the Teesbrook Audrey and this is the Heart Enaz, which I can never say properly. <laughs> um, hey, I think 
this neighbour's been here as well because he's recovered his plot. And also this path seems like it's strim been strummed a bit. And what's in here? Oh, there's a patty pan in there. there. Might be a courgette in there. Um, yeah, my beans have definitely gone over. Look at those. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> the other dahlia is completely squished down there. Um, right. Oh look, they didn't even come back to finish eating that pumpkin. Absolutely naughty things. You're a big bee. Mm, I can't see any other pumpkins on here. Oh well. I think I'm going to harvest the, whatchamacallit, the queens on blue which are over there. They're getting dangerously close. The only thing is I can't carry them back today. Oh, I don't know what to do. Things are looking suspiciously okay out here. I think we should go in the greenhouse and see what's happened in there. Through the window looks fine. Maybe my neighbour had watered my um, chilies. I didn't ask him to, but sometimes he just waters if he, noticed, uh, if he notices um, them looking a little bit wilted um, because he's here every single day. So that's very nice of him if he's watered. I'm pretty sure he has because everything looks really good and I obviously haven't watered in 12 days. <laughs> First thing I can see is spider web so i need to grab like a stick or something um right got my stick <laughs> i'm gonna get rid of them <laughs> spider webs first things first i think this tomato has blight look at that oh gosh lost one that's not looking good but it might also no i think that's blight um I was going to say it might also just be cold because of a cold because the temperatures went down to like six degrees the other night which is crazy for September. Yep yeah, that stalk doesn't look very good but the rest of the plant is currently okay. There's so many tomatoes. I picked the um, most of the plums 12 days ago. <laughs> I think everything's looking fine. This one's not looking good. Yeah, I'm using my stick to point at stuff now. Uh, yeah. Peppers are looking amazing though. I don't think they've been watered because, yeah, that's completely dry. Maybe they just, they've just survived. Um, paprika's looking really good. I don't think I'm gonna get any sweet peppers this year just because the slug had a nibble of every single one, so yeah, that one's definitely rotten in there. Same as these. Hmm. Although this one. Oops, you can't see, sorry. This one seems to be turning. I don't think it's. Oh no, it has. <laughs> it does have a hole in it. <sighs> that looks terrible. This is such a shame. Next year, I think I'm going to be very protective of my peppers because I don't know I feel like I can definitely grow them if I protect them next year will definitely be better it's weird how the slugs have gone for the two sweet peppers but they haven't gone for the paprikas they obviously don't like paprikas right I've got quite a few peppers to harvest very surprised actually before I harvest the peppers i'm gonna try and harvest what remains of the the little baby pumpkins there's definitely some in there which are unharmed so let's see what we can get Anyway, look at this. 
we have some little baby pumpkins after all. I know I could have had like three times as many if I'd have picked some before going, but this ain't bad, is it? Look, they're so, so cute. Um, and now I can, I know that I can grow this type of pumpkin here as long as I pick them a little bit earlier. <laughs> I also saw that Charles Dowden picked his curry squash last week. Um, yeah, while I was on holiday, I saw that reel and I thought, oh, damn it, I should have picked mine, shouldn't I? <laughs> but um, yeah, I also know now that you can pick curry squash a bit e earlier because they are, they are an early maturing type of squash and they will mature off the plant, like once you've cut them as well. So. Yeah, there's just things to keep in mind for next year. This whole first year on the plot is a big experiment anyway. And I've learned a lot, <laughs> an awful lot. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Love being at the allotment plot. It's so nice to be back and just to be here and yeah, it's so nice. Speaking of the curry squash, I think this one is a little bit too um, yellow to be picked just yet and I can tell it's not quite ready because there's a couple of teeth marks in it but they haven't gone for it just yet so I think, ugh, I don't know whether to try and experiment and pick this now and see if it does anything. Thought I heard a squirrel but I think it's just a blackbird. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether to pick that now or leave it a couple of days. Hmm. Can't really carry that home at the moment though. They're actually really heavy, deceptively heavy. Um, we've got some patty pan to harvest. There's one, two, definitely two on here. I was about to say, at least we know squirrels don't like patty pans. Well, I think they do because that one's been munched down there. So I've got one, one patty pan. Oh well. I'm actually really looking forward to winter. I know that sounds really weird and <laughs> not many people um, gardeners seem to be looking forward to winter but I'm actually really excited to like clear the plot get rid of all the like dead and dying plants sort the back of the plot and then just start anew in the spring like I'm just so excited to clear the plot apart from clearing the dahlias because I think the dahlias have been my favourite bit <laughs> my favourite thing about the allotment has been the dahlias. Um, so I'm gonna be sad to see those go, but I'm gonna be happy to see the rest go because this is just one big massive mound of leaf at the moment. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to clearing it. Um, I think the beans have now died <laughs> after they fell over, but yeah, I'm just not gonna be able to um, hear them lot. I don't think it's me they're shouting at. I can see them. Who are they? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with them lot. Maybe I should look on the Merlin bird app. See who they are. So it's coming up as a long tailed tit and when I saw them flapping about I did see the long tail. So it must be. I can't see any there now. I saw them a minute ago. I can see some do- oop, oop. I think they are, because they- I can see white- oh gosh, I wasn't even pointing in the right direction. I don't know if you can see that on camera. 
Hey, there one goes. Did I pick that up? <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure they are long tail tits because they're like a white little pale blob with a long tail. That's what I can see without my glasses anyway. There's actually loads in the tree. I don't know if they're coming up though. Anyway, I can't remember what I was saying. Um, clearing the plot, getting ready for next year. It's just all so very exciting. <laughs> okay, I think it's about time. We pick the chilies and the peppers. I bought new birdseed and mealworms yesterday and I forgot to bring them, but I'm not really sure where I'm gonna hang my bird feeder now that the arch has collapsed. <laughs> um, that's something to think about. I don't even know where the feed has gone. Cannot see it. Oh, the birds, there's so many birds. <laughs> there we go. Oh, they're so hard to capture on camera. Okay, it's picking up all the birds at the moment. Whoa, there's a bee. Um, wish I'd worn my glasses because then I'd be able to see a bit better. But it's picked up a long tailed tit, a great tit, and a robin. I can hear the robin, but. They're probably all shouting at me because I'm, I think I'm the only one here at the moment. It's so quiet at the allotment. <laughs> anyway, let's pick the chilies and the peppers and yeah, go home. And we'll leave the birds to it. <laughs> I thought there'd be a bit more, but we've got some Serrano, which are looking very nice. Some cayenne. This is the only paprika that looks ready. There's about four that are still like half green, so I'm going to leave them a bit longer. These are jalapenos, which I like red. <laughs> I don't really like them green, um, but weirdly some are very, very, very small, but that's probably because they have been in little pots and haven't been fed regularly and that's my own doing got the first pepper dew which looks nice um yeah i think that's it not bad but i just thought there'd be a little bit more but some aren't quite ready just yet i've just been trying to work out what these are i know this one is a sprout because i can see the sprouts this oh, I don't what it is i really don't know i planted two cabbages and two romanescos here but i can only see like two plants now so um i was thinking if this was a romanesco surely it would have made a head already there's just, just nothing there and um, same as this one down here there's still nothing nothing there so is this a cabbage <laughs> i just don't know hmm i think i'm just gonna worry about that cabbage romanesco thing um when i come here next i i'm gonna call it a day now it's been nice to get back nice to have a look around and to harvest some bits and bobs and I'm looking forward to getting back up here tomorrow. I think tomorrow I am going to sort out the tomatoes. <sighs> I'm going to try and get whatever fruit is on the um, plants to ripen, which means I'm going to have to trim a lot more of the leaves and tops of plants. But that is definitely a job for tomorrow. I'm also going to come up with my granny trolley so that I can take home the two big Queens and Blue. 
hopefully they'll last another night here. But yeah. So here's my little harvest. Three lovely courgettes. They're not too big actually. Um, all the little baby pumpkins that were left unharmed. Oh, they're just so cute. So, so, so cute. I love them. One patty pan and some chilies. I think another few days and a couple more of my chilies will be ready to harvest. So I'm going to take this home and yeah, have a nice walk home with the sun setting and yeah. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you again very soon. Bye.